Hello everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher. We're here. We're back with some more Slime Rancher. We're gonna continue off where we left off. Which was... What did we do last? I think we did our... We started our, our little farm. But we're gonna slowly... Start feeding our slimes. Whoa, don't hit me, don't hit me. And get more money. We need more uh, new plorts to buy more upgrades for everything for all the slimes. Really, these corral upgrades is what I need. The high walls. There's music box. Uh, calms the slime down. The air net so they don't jump over. Solar shield protecting slimes against uh, sensitive to light. A plort collector and an auto feeder. Trying to get money for those upgrades at this point. We're just going to continue on here. What are the prices for these plorts? Six. Uh, what do I want to sell? I want to sell more of the tabby ones. The cat ones. I want to sell more of those. But for now we're going to get more food just out here. But everything's going to have to... Have to wait on everything. Grow back. For now, we continue exploring. I didn't really explore too much in the last episode. I'm gonna go that far. There's a little... area over here. Do you believe? Yeah. To look into. Anything? Food? No. More tabby plorts. Roostro, some more plorts. Then I can collect all the plorts. They eat the chicken, eat the chicken, yes. Or eat the hen hen. I can get the plorts. Any, uh, anything over here? Nope. Oh, and look at that. There is a big slime over there. We'll get to him a little later. I, mean, I don't know if we're going to get to him this episode. Or another episode. But we are going to get to them. They're kind of key to advancing. to kind of like the new areas. For now we're going to continue exploring this little region here. Collecting the free, the free plorts as we go. There's a bunch of areas. There's a bunch of like little secret areas, pathways you could take. You gotta search like everything. Got some carrots. I should probably take the carrots. Yeah, I'll take the carrots. Don't want the floors. Want the carrots? To feed the slimes. I also want. Here. What is cube berries? Delicate, sweet, and never roll off the table. Ooh, another another slime. So it's a big tabby slime this time. A tabby gordo. But there you go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, head back to our ranch. All right, we're back. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna farm. I'm gonna put another garden for these cube berries. Have them start growing. Oh, we have a couple of heartbeats already. No, 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 not you. No, they want for you. Get out of here. You could launch slime. It's funny. Land it over there. I'm gonna feed. This pink slime from carrots. Here, have the extra cube berry. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these pink lords for more space. And so you wanna wanna feed these heartbeats to these rock gordos or ro rock tabby largos. To get the the more plorts at once. 
Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Yeah, and once... As you can see, some of them are hungry. They're getting more, you know, riled up. They're trying, they're trying to escape more. They're trying to get around. So that's why you don't want to have too many in one corral. Like early on, yeah, you don't want to have too many. Once they're... I like this, I usually tend to have six to seven slimes. Of the, I mean, of the Largos. One. Which is like kind of the optimal. And, uh... Don't, don't, uh, don't question this. Where am I? Don't question this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It has to be done, it has to be done. It didn't have to be done, but it has to be done, if you understand. We're going to look at our mail really quickly. Nice star mail. Thor West, welcome to the Ranch Exchange. Hi there, Beatrix. My name's Thor West. I keep my introduction short on account that we got a lot of work to do. Long time rancher here in the far, far range. Headed to work a wagon, local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slime, pores, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily to make sure you get trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a health a party party hello from them. So and check on the area box. Well enough, join. Both got enough slime serangle. Adios, Beatrix. There you go. We got the new uh. It's now machine is now operational. Laura West, help me out here, and I'll make sure you get your own. This is our exchange. We pretty much do little like little quest for, you know, money, different fruits, some uh, pens as well. I might be able to do this. I need rock plorts. I like I like the mail said to do these within twenty four hours. So if you're gonna do them, you know, plan ahead of time. We're gonna go ahead. So we have 600, 600 new books. We're gonna go ahead and high walls. So these guys don't get out anymore. And I don't want to put these in guys just yet. As we saw with the... Uh, I showed it off in the Slimepedia. Boss first slime. So th these help you... You know, if you're just starting out, they'll learn things about them. Which needs a rancher risk. Phosphorus slimes have special needs compared to your typical slime. It's phosphorus slime. And it's supposed to quickly vanish if exposed to sunlight. Meaning a rancher could some lose quickly an entire corral's worth of phosphorus slimes if they're not careful. Ranchers must either vac them up before daybreak or keep phosphorus slime in a place that's perpetually dark or like a cave. And their favorite uh, food is fruit, which a cuberry is their favorite. That's why I got the cuberry fruit over there. This is why I haven't put these guys down because I don't want to. I could always get more every night time, so I, I, you know, I, I probably should just get rid of them. But this is for the solar shield, for the slime sensitive to light. And I'm gonna combine them with these guys here once I get enough money to put the solar shield. Let me get some... Okay, you're hungry? You're hungry? You're gonna eat? Yes, you are. Hey. Yeah, so these guys are getting kind of restless. Because they're not... Yeah, they're jumping out now. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. Here. I'm down. We're gonna go ahead and... Four rock plorts. And we're gonna go ahead and collect more plorts. Alright, we're back on the range. Our Q-berries seem to have... 
spawn fruit. So we're gonna quickly sell these plorts. Not get it, get not enough, but that's fine. We're gonna sell these. Feed these guys that are hungry. Sometimes you can feed them twice. Like when they're really hungry, you can sometimes feed them twice. But all I'm trying to do is get enough for that solar shield. Should be enough now. Or 25. Anyway, so now it's kind of darkened out. Now we can put on our phosphor slimes. And we're going to combine them. And like I said, I only want actually like six of these in here. Uh, we're going to get rid of you. Yeah, I only want like six of them in here. Combine... We are going to feed these guys cube berries. That is their favorite fruit. Yeah, even though they combined with the pink slimes and the pink slimes don't have a favorite. So their only favorite food would be these cube slimes. Or the cube berries. Yeah, we have six. Seven? We have seven of each. This should be fine. Seven of each slime should be in more than enough. Or we're gonna get rid of the rest of the slimes. You could toss them into the wild or... I really just toss them into the water. Sorry. Oh, they're getting out. They're getting out. They're getting out. They're getting out. If, you, if they get out, they're gonna die. Be careful. Don't get out. So these guys can fly, which is we also need one more upgrade. I could have waited on it, but I just wanted to get these guys down. Uh, any more food here? Nope. And food, by the way, doesn't last forever. I know it's like kind of on the ground. They will expire eventually. But you can't just have a whole bunch of food in there at once either. All right, well, for now, they're not hungry. We're going to go ahead and sell these plorts. And we're going to see the price of these. some of these go down because I've sold some of them. Most likely, all of them are going to go down. But for now... Now we're gonna. What I'm gonna do? Oh, I forgot to do the carrot. Is there still more carrots? They ate all the carrots. Oh, I completely forgot about that mission. We forgot about the quest. Wow. I'm gonna see quickly if I could spot some more carrots, and I'll be back really quick. Okay, we collected all the carrots that we needed. Also collected a few more plorts on the way. Quickly sell those off. Sell our carrots. Do a little box of everything. And now we have our full poker fruit tree, which you can't fill it up anywhere. We're gonna go ahead and give these guys their heartbeats, their daily heartbeat of the day. I can't pick everything up. I'm gonna feed them these hen hens. I'm gonna sell this off really quick. And we're gonna go to sleep just to show off what sleeping does here really quick sleep until morning six in the morning the next day these guys got out so you want to just want to be careful they don't get out they've eaten some of the food that was on the ground already 
which is nice. So it, it takes into account like actual, you know, the slimes actually wanted to feed again. You could quickly. You could use that. You use that to pretty much speed up, you know, getting a bunch of uh, money all at once. Also, you could also use it to speed up your growth and some of your plants. And the prices for these went down. The price for the rock and the tabby went down. But the but the phosphorus went up. Went to 22, I believe. That's going to be almost profitable, profitable today. Quickly sell this off. Long shot, long shot. Nope. Long shot. Little higher. Little higher. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Now we have we could upgrade some of these things. I'm gonna go and upgrade and get the air net on both of these. What the internet does is put a little net at the top so they can't really escape anymore. Or it's harder for them to escape. They can. They they do like that like, like these guys do damage to me. They do damage to that net as well. It will break over time, but it takes it they usually never happens. It never like And I believe what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to that. Yeah, we're gonna quickly go back to that big slime that we saw earlier. I'm gonna go check it out. Some food here, a little present. So you're gonna find these boxes, these crates all over the place, and you just wanna hold on to them and then just toss them to a wall. We also got an upgrade. Dash, which is highly effective. Frankly, fashionable. Reduce the energy. We got a little orb. So these are like a Christmas kind of like seasonal thing. They're ornaments. You could just kind of place them wherever. Little decorations. We're not here for it. We're not here for that. We're here for this big guy. The pink Gordo. Eats everything. So as you would imagine. You want to feed him. And he gets bigger. And bigger. And bigger. He's ready to pop. We need a couple more. That's why there's a little bit of I believe it takes 30 total, like, food items to pop them. There you go. Gordo slimes. They break off into their individual slimes. They also give off some of these casings. Oh, that's a nice one. I want that one. I actually want all of them, so. Give me those ornaments. Oh, so he also did a line key. An ancient key for an ancient lock. So we haven't found an, a, a lock yet, but for now. But in the, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and explore that lock. Or try to find a lock for this... Uh, the, Find a door for this key to open. Oh, I cannot speak. I never speak in any video. <laughs> but for now, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. And see you next time.